everybody. Hope you're having a great start out there this Sunday. You're going to feel a noticeable difference though in the air heading out the door. That's because cooler air has filtered in. We had a cold front that pushed through through the overnight hours. And now look at this. 24 hours ago, we were 15 degrees warmer in Salisbury. We were 17 degrees warmer in Danbury. So yes, it's a chilly start out there. If you're heading out the door compared to what we've been used to, these lows are actually normal for this time of year. But uh, I don't think everybody's used to right uh, this fall like weather, especially after we had temperatures in the 70s the past couple of days. Here's a live look in Hartford this morning. We're starting to see that beautiful glow over the city. So it's just the beginning. Of course, sunrise is after 7 a.m. now, but we do have fall temperatures that are going to return today. So today's going to be a nice day. If you've got outdoor plans, we're going to be in the 60s. We're going to be seeing a good amount of sunshine, especially this morning as we head through the afternoon. That's when clouds are going to build. And I do think we've got the chance of seeing a spot shower in just some locations this afternoon. Not really a big deal, though. Nothing to worry about if you do have outdoor plans. You might just see a sprinkle or a little bit of drizzle here or there. Now for tomorrow, those temperatures are going to dip down even further. So we're going to be in the upper 50s in some locations and nearing and at 60 along the shoreline. And then as we get through the week ahead of us, high pressure is going to be in control for most of it. So we're going to be seeing mostly dry conditions. However, uh, some breezy conditions as well. It's definitely going to feel like October now if you've been waiting for that October like weather. All right, early warning pinpoint Doppler shows us a live look right now of dry conditions. So we are looking good. This is in the past six hours. So yeah, you saw all that or you see all that rain and that precipitation that pushed through our state from west to east last night. That was ahead of the cold front. So now all of that cooler air is filtering in. But this is seasonal air for this time of year. Those dew points in the 40s, in the 50s, it's feeling pleasant out there. Those wind speeds anywhere from calm to 8 miles per hour coming in from the west and the northwest. And that future cast shows us for today. So here's those little sprinkles I was talking about. Not a big deal, but uh, as we head through the afternoon, you might just see them pop up here or there and a little more cloud cover as well. So this morning is going to be fantastic. This afternoon, a little more cloud cover. But once again, a nice day on tap for us. A more fall-like day than what we experienced yesterday when we were in t-shirts, right? Today, we're grabbing the sweater and the flannel and uh, the light jacket. So here's a look at 6 o'clock p.m. Yep, you could continue to see some of those sprinkles. Maybe more of a spot shower is possible in that northwest hill, uh, hills area. So you could see by 9 o'clock p.m., 10 o'clock. Those skies do clear out for the overnight hours. Then as we head in towards tomorrow, we've got some chilly air moving in and you could see uh, clear skies for most of the morning. Then once again in the afternoon, that's when we've got that chance for once again, those spotty showers, maybe uh, a shower here or there. But the wind also a big factor in our forecast. You could see as we head throughout Monday, some of those gusts could be up to uh, 20s, uh, even up to 30 mile per hour gusts as we head towards Tuesday. Pretty much the same thing Tuesday. Actually actually looks like the breeziest day of the week. But yes, temperatures right now going back to uh, at the moment we're in the 50s and we're in the 40s in a lot of locations of our state. That seven day forecast shows us we're going to warm up to 65 degrees for today. Breezy conditions continue all the way towards Wednesday. However, the sunshine is going to be really bright, I think, on Tuesday and Wednesday and even Thursday. Now, Thursday is our next chance. We're tracking the potential for a frontal passage to push through. Now, this could bring with it some showers, not expecting a washout by any means, but you can see 68 degrees for Thursday. So we're going to warm up pretty nicely. Then we've got some cooler air uh, expected to filter in and then look at Saturday's high temperatures. So it looks like temperatures are going to drop at the moment for next weekend. Of course, we're still a week out, so this definitely could change, but temperatures in the upper 50s for Saturday.